Sonic, a little ball of super energy, in an extremely handsome package. Hello fellow on gamers, planet, Eddie here with the Gamers Next Door. Hours. Were you too busy during the week to catch up on what's been going down in the gaming industry? Don't worry, we got you covered. Here's TGND News Episode 17. First off, we have to give credit where it's due. The new trailer for Sonic the Hedgehog was released and the fixed Sonic design looks so much better than the last one. This one actually looks like Sonic and not some tall alien. It truly was a we made it moment for fans because the director actually listened and gave us not just what we wanted, but also what we deserved. Sonic the Hedgehog will release February 14, 2020. The Rock has released the first look of the upcoming Black Adam character he will be portraying for the DC Universe. The design definitely looks epic and I'm almost certain The Rock will be an outstanding addition to the DC film universe. It's been a pretty eventful week for Xbox fans. Their XO 2019 showcase took place and they released a ton of fun news. Here are some highlights. Rare is back and they have announced a brand new game called Everwild. Rare is known for having a masterful streak of raw and fun platformers in the late 90s and early 2000s when they were owned by Nintendo, but then their quality dropped after they were sold to Microsoft. I'm just happy they haven't given up because Everwild definitely makes it seem like Rare is trying to bring that old school platforming charm back. Obsidian, the former third party but now first party Microsoft Studio announced its first game under the Xbox brand, Grounded, a first person co-op survival game that really does look creative and interesting. Gamers should be able to play this one spring of 2020. Microsoft confirmed Bleeding Edge developed by Ninja Theory will come to Xbox One on March 24th, 2020. There will be a closed beta on February 14th for those who pre-order. Microsoft and 343 Industries have revealed that Halo Reach will be added to Halo the Master Chief Collection on December 3rd, 2019 and will be available on both Xbox One and PC. Quite a few fans such as myself have been waiting for the addition of Reach so this will definitely have some playtime for me once it's released. Square Enix confirmed Kingdom Hearts 1.5 plus 2.5 and Kingdom Hearts 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue are all making the jump to Xbox One in 2020. There you go, no more confusion when you play Kingdom Hearts 3. Over 50 games will be coming to Xbox Game Pass in the coming months like The Witcher 3, the Final Fantasy series and even Yakuza. That's right, Yakuza will finally be making its way to Xbox soon. Not too many games were released this week but what was released is definitely enough to keep you all busy for a while. Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, PS4, Xbox the One, PC. Jedi survivors. Now, they know who you are. I can't change the past. You trespass, Jedi. But I'm done hiding. Cal Kestis. You will always struggle. It's the choice to keep fighting that makes us who we are. Pokemon Sword and Shield, Nintendo Switch. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe at the Gamers Next Door on Facebook and YouTube. This is Eddie signing out and as always, happy gaming.